Welcome to the Bowling on CBS Sports Network. Great to have you with us. Dave Ryan alongside Hall of Famer Carolyn Doran Ballard, joined by Shannon O'Keefe as well in a moment. Verity Crawley is quite a story from Weber International down in Florida, won an ITC championship last year in Wichita, and an early candidate for Rookie of the Year. Absolutely. I remember watching her bowl her first year at Weber, and I looked at Del Warren and Randy Stoughton, and I said, she is a stud, and I hope the tour comes back around because she could be a contender. Obviously, she proved me right and has been a star in college and now is shining here on tour. Well, since the tour returned, 10 TV appearances for Kelly Kulik, but no titles. Does that change today? I think it does. I, you know, things in her life have changed. Uh, you know, unfortunately, she lost her mother back in December. Uh, great woman, but she was very close with Kelly. And I think there's there's just been a, a mental change in her. I think there was a lot weighing on her before that. Her mind is now a little clearer. Her mom and her had some great time before she passed on. And you know what? I think she's ready to bust down the door. Kelly is our top seed. Joined now by Shannon O'Keefe. Kelly, this is your 11th TV appearance since the relaunch of the PWBA Tour. What's it going to take to finally break through and have that title? Uh, you know, Shannon, it's nice to be on this side of the camera again and throwing the ball rather than talking about it. You know, myself and Shannon Plahowska, I have to include her, we've been clutch all season long, making shows, and that's all you can do as a player. Make shows, give yourself the opportunity to win. Um, whether it happens today or tonight, I'm still going to give it my best effort. I have a few keys, short first step, lead with the push away, and uh, after that, it's just hopefully I knock down more pins than my opponent. Thanks, Kelly. Dave? Shannon, thanks so much. Kelly Kulik puts down the microphone and the headset. She'll bowl today at the top seed. Coming up, Johnson against 10. Great bowling on the way. And country woman here looking for a tour victory. It will not be easy for the lefty Sherry Tan against the legend Liz Johnson. on the 10 pin, down it goes. Good start for Liz, already a winner on tour once this year. Two-time reigning player of the year on tour. One title in Sherry's career. And last year at the PWBA Storm Sacramento Open in Citrus Heights, California. But you pulled very well on the show earlier this year. Liz obviously coming off a of victory. So again, two confident players in this first match. Seven pin for Sherry to start her match. One of the keys you'll see both on the left and the right with the patterns that we've been bowling on is controlling the pocket. Girls are using balls that read the middle part of the lane, don't hook as much on the back end, don't read the back end of the pattern as drastic. Um, so, so again, they can control the pocket and make the spares because spares have been very important in this first first quarter of the PWBA season. Sherry won her first career title last year at the Storm Sacramento Open, as we talked about. Hey! Fellow Southpaw Shannon Plohowski, 208-205, title matched, first career championship. Carolyn, you know, from all the titles you've won and your amazing career, that's a big moment. That You'll never huge. forget that. No, right? never. Nope, the, fir the first title always holds a special spot. Second frame, all 10 down for Sherry Tan. Sherry Liz Johnson now calls Deerfield, Illinois home. That's just outside Chicago. Native of Chictawaga. Okay. She <laughs> said to us before the match, look, I'm a Buffalonian at heart, exactly. which will be from Buffalo. My heart is there, but now she likes the big city. Well, as I say, she went from snow to snow. To cold. So it's <laughs> and Buffalo's a great town, and but Buffalo Chicago is, is an amazing yes. city. Yes, and she's really enjoying it. <laughs> All 10 down. Future for the sport lane. Pattern here, CDB, break it down for us. Let's see what we have this week. Oh boy, look at this, 38 feet, just a little bit shorter than the last 
couple of patterns we've seen, but again, right here, that front load of oil, a lot of oil in the front part of the lane, and then again, the pattern ends right here. Lighter load of oil right here and right here. What the key is, is the problem, is a lot of the girls have tried to play further to the right using a lot of surface, which then breaks down the front part of that lane, forces you a little left, but still doesn't give you a lot of area to the right. So again, angles need to be slightly shut down. Perfect start for Liz, three straight. Player who rules a 300 game during our telecast will receive a $10,000 bonus courtesy of GoBowling.com. So GoBowling.com to fly local bowling centers, get tips from the pros, and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport, bowling. Sherry goes for the double. He's got it. Team Singapore likes it. Sherry has a very simple game. One gets that bolster on that second step, walks right by a big, big stride in that fourth step into the fifth, raises the leg just a little bit, but creates such leverage because she keeps her body low to the line. I watch Sherry Bowl, and she reminds me of and I'm reverting back, of course, but Cara Honeychurch, who was a phenomenal left-hander, had a little bit more spin on the ball than, than Sherry does, but keeps the ball in play and is an excellent spare shooter. Turkey for Sherry. Liz looks for the front four to begin the match here. We are seeing a strike fest early. Is a runner-up in the Queens to begin the 2017 PWBA Tour season. Bounce back with a victory. Looking to stay perfect here. Lane level look at the legend. What a start. Great leverage with Liz. You can see how, again, she keeps her angles really shut down. Hitting about that nine board down lane, 12 to nine, not very much, not even a lot of belly in the front part of the lane yet. Again, using a ball that gets down the lane, but hit it with a little surface to read that middle part of the lane. A lot of girls were saying too, these, these few patterns that we've bowled on, they've used the same bowling balls, they just adjusted the surface. Five up, five down. What a start for Liz Johnson here. Shannon, what's happening? So Liz is using an asymmetrical pearl cover, but just like Carolyn referenced, she put a thousand on it to help it read the mid lane. It allows her to play a little bit of uh, more direct angles like she likes to play, but the asymmetry of it lets it kick a little bit down lane. Sherry is actually using the same ball that she won with at the Sacramento Open last year. It's got like a thousand games on it but she's cr trying to create a little bit more angle through the front. I think she's got a good look. All 10 down, what do you think of that, Carolyn? I think she's another one who's just throwing it so great. She, one, one of the, the keys to Sherry, as we saw on that side view, again, very simple game, lets the ball drop from the top of her swing down. There's no muscle at all, lets the ball roll off the palm of her hand. She is very versatile. You know, you don't see it a lot of times because we don't see a lot of the, you know, the match play and the qualifying. But she plays all over the lane. She plays the gutter. She plays 10. She plays 20. Very versatile player and knows her equipment. Six frame. Look at this. 10 more down. And that means we're all even. Midway point. PWBA on CBS Sports Network. Fountain Valley Open Finals, match number one step ladder. Liz Johnson, look at that. Front five, looks for half a dozen here. All even with Sherry Tan from Singapore. It's been fun to watch.
Four pin. Liz missed just a little bit left on that shot, but what you'll see with this pattern as compared to the past few weeks, this pattern's a little bit more forgiving on the back end. Right here, she gets this ball in at the hours around 12, over about 10, where she's been getting it out to eight, nine, but because of her ball speed, she kept it on line of what she's trying to do. But again, like I said, this pattern on the back end, a little bit more forgiving, where if you get it a little bit right, it, it tries to get up to the pocket. If you miss a little left, you actually, with your ball speed, can create a little more hold. A new strike streak, perhaps. Sherry Town on a five bagger herself. In no way intimidated by facing the great Liz Johnson. Part of Singapore's training is uh, very much a part of the mental game. They spend a lot of time, you know, a little each day on the mental preparation for not only getting to the tournament, but how to perform during that tournament. New Wei Fen, Jazz Real Tan, pretty slim. So many great players from Singapore. Spent a lot of time with the team Singapore players. We talk about the mental approach. How about their physical approach? Oh, they're workaholics. I mean, this is, you know, their country pays them to bowl. It's it's very different than it is here in the United States. I mean, they're, this is their job. They don't go home and then go to an office job or work part time somewhere. This is all they do and go to school. You know, they must attend school. Yeah, they've all graduated. Uh, well, most of them have. I'm sorry, the ones that are obviously sharing. Liz, low to the line. See how she just lifts through it? She actually lifts through a little bit more with her fingers. Sherry, on the other hand, gets on the side of it just a little bit more than Liz. And you could see, remember how we talked earlier, I believe it was last week with the, the pointer finger with Rocio. And the same thing with Sherry. When you see that come up and over, you know she was in a good position, gets on the side of it, and that's what creates her rotation. <laughs> It was kind of quick there. You could kind of see it, but this this shot, really good. And again, you don't want to make big adjustments. Sometimes her, one of her favorite adjustments is to get her ball to read a little bit sooner. She likes to move her eyes closer to her. There's the seven pin. There's the spare for Sherry Tan. Are you looking for some great PWBA gear? Then visit the official online store of the PWBA at shoppwba.com. Speaking of international stars, Verity Crowley from England is next, qualified second, and she will take on the winner of this one between Tan and Johnson. Crunches back, 10 into the pit. What placement into the 1-3 pocket. We're going to talk about something here that everybody has always said, but has actually been incorrect. So let's watch Liz's eyes. One of the keys to her game, steady head, her eyes. Sure doesn't look like she's looking at the foul line, right? Liz does not look at the foul line. And she made that perfectly clear one time doing an interview. She looks past the foul line, sometimes at the dots. Now, she may draw them back just a little bit, but she does not look at the foul line, which everybody said she does. Interesting. Mystery solved. 
She does look down. No question about that. Great look from our crew and great look from Liz with all 10 down. We saw Sheer 10 and the comparison looks much further down lane for mm -hmm. her target spot. She, she, she does. And actually, she does that because she likes to make sure that she is aggressive through her shot. And again, though, when her ball tends to go a little bit longer, instead of moving all over the lane, her first choice is to move her eyes closer to her to try to get that ball into the lane a little bit sooner and read it. You can definitely see she's a, her head's a little bit more upright. Again, very steady head. I mean, here's a great tip for people at home when they ask. When we talk about a steady head, you keep your eyes on your target. And if you notice, with her being a little more upright, again, that follow through, a little bit higher, that's her key. Tenth frame works on a strike. It's a big one here. Matches and cuts it to 11 pins. Crunch time. This is a really great match, too, to also talk about two bowlers who keep it very simple. Their games are simple. They don't try to do something that's really out of the ordinary. It's subtle changes. It might be a ball change here and there, don't get me wrong, but it's subtle changes. Eye movement on the lane to get the ball to read different. Um, increasing foot speed to throw it a little bit harder. Subtle changes, that's what keeps them in the groove. Strike out in the 10th here and stay hot. Another great shot. Again, getting it down lane to about eight, nine. Basically playing just like the right-handers, maybe just a little bit further left. Has that little bit of angle in the front. But again, here's one of the things I, I really hope people are watching is that their, their accuracy is so good. I mean, they just are so on target right now. Finishes in style in the 10th frame for a 258. Now up steps Liz to try to put this one away. Striking five for the win. shot. Liz Johnson comes through again. Footwork slides right back into her target. That looks like that ball's going real straight right off her hand, doesn't it? I mean, just keeping it right on, on line. It's unbelievable. Okay. Scoreboard malfunction here. I'm trying to get this worked out as quickly as possible. I'm on the right lane, right? Yeah. You had to finish on that one. I finished on the right lane. Yeah. yeah. And that was your first one in the tail. Yeah. It didn't put it up. It's it right didn't put it. Right on okay. Yeah. It wasn't up on the big screen, yeah. so I'm. Yeah. I haven't. <laughs> I thought I bowled on the wrong lane. She wants to make sure there are no mistakes here. This needs five for the win. It's not my first time. I would, I would think somebody would have yelled to her, hey, Liz, wrong lane. <laughs> yeah, me too. Needs five. How about all ten? How about a win again for Liz Johnson? 
And the Hall of Famer will climb the ladder, Harry Crawley of Great Britain, the former collegiate star at Weber International, is next. Legend Liz has done it again. A victory over Sherry Tan from Singapore, and she climbs the ladder. Crawley Johnson next on CBS Sports Network. Liz Johnson, tremendous bowling over Sherry Tan in our first match, 275, 258. Climbing the ladder, Verity Crawley of Great Britain is next. Gary Foreman, proprietor of Fountain Bowl. So Cal, far from LA. Great to see Gary here. Special thanks to his staff for such great hospitality. Diana Zap Yalaba, the Queen's champion and former teammate of Verity Crawley, holds up that sign. Nicely done, Diana. Liz Johnson coming off a 275 game. Stays hot. Great start. She's locked in. This plays to Liz's strengths. She can be a little bit further right, although you've seen her versatility on the other patterns. She's playing way in. Look at the sign. Look at the one with the, the little blue shirt and the <laughs> chair. I love That's that. That's pretty cool. But Liz can be much more aggressive on this, stay further right, and just increase her ball speed before she has to start moving on, on the lane. First shot. TV debut. Verity Crawley, the two seed from Bournemouth, Dorset, England. Only 22 years old. 22 years old. And look at this. Look at this form. It's just, it's picturesque. Five-step approach. Drops and walks right by it. High backswing, but look at this. Look at this. I mean, oh my God. It's just, it's all power. And look at the leverage going into the line right here. It just drops. And again, just like Diana, follows through to the left. Ball goes slightly to the right, naturally. Lots of rev off that hand. Leaves a 6'10. When you talk about the team, Singapore players like Sherry Tan being full-time bowlers. Well, Verity's a paralegal in Lake Wales, Florida. Mm -hmm. Originally from England, of course. And again, we've, we've mentioned it, Weber International. Del Ward and Randy Stone run a great program down there. You know, obviously, you know, Kegel Training Facility. I mean, it's amazing what they've done with these players. ITC champs but, last year in Wichita. That's and something. We, absolutely. Covers has a 6'10 spare. Go back to Shannon O'Keefe. Liz is starting with the same ball that she ended with the last match. However, it becomes too much or too early. She's looked to find her uh, balling down to a weaker asymmetrical ball. It should give her a little bit more push with a little bit more back end motion. Verity's key for success today is going to be there's plenty of friction out there for her, so she needs to stay within herself and keep her hand firm. Her ball rep, Rob Gotchel, told me that she has a tendency sometimes to get a little bit rubber bandy with her hand, a little whippy at the bottom, which actually will increase her rev rate and make the ball jump through the face. So her key is going to be stay within herself and keep her hand nice and firm. She had a thank strike there for Liz. What do you think of those approaches, Carolyn? I, <laughs> I don't think there's anything wrong with them. <laughs> well, you know what it is? Everybody has a key to success. You know what I mean? It, and especially when you do get lost, which neither one of these players are lost on the lanes, but those keys keep you going and help you through the process of what you need to do and make those moves on the lane. Start any player who rolls a 300 game during our telecast will receive a $10,000 bonus courtesy of GoBowling.com. Visit GoBowling.com to find local bowling centers, get tips from the pros, and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport, bowling. So Verity, due to work commitments, missed the first couple of events in the 2017 tour season, but here she is. On the show for the first time in her career. It's a nice shot. 3 6 10. Let's take a look at this shot by Verity. Missed a little left of her target. She's beginning to get a little bit further right, believe it or not. 
And that ball just seemed to really bounce off the back of that pattern. Now, we said that with this pattern, as people moved left, it actually tended to open up a little bit. So with the nerves, she could get, you know, be a little grabby, kind of got around that one just a little bit too much. She may have to make the move just to be able to hit some of that oil that's in the front part of the lane. Chops a three there, 6'10", standing, so an open frame for Verity. 83 bowlers representing 11 countries starting this event in Fountain Valley. Numbers for her at this tournament. How will the youngster, only 22, respond to an open frame against Liz Johnson in her first career TV appearance? Just like that. Wow, all 10 back. Much better shot. Much more aggressive through that shot. Got the ball down the lane and to the right, which is what's going to play to her strength as she's able to chase it. Watch the angle of this ball. 18 out to almost, I'd say, about eight right here. High flush into the pocket. Stay perfect. A shot and the six pin stands for her. Right here goes Brooklyn. Thought she'd get the bounce off the wall to tap out that six. Again, change to her spare ball, plastic ball, shoot at the spare. When she converts, no problem. Strike streak ends to begin the match. Still a huge lead. Thanks to Verity's open in the third frame. Solid shot, 10 pin for Liz in the fifth. Great shot by Liz. Players have been saying this left lane has been getting a little bit tighter, especially on the back end. Ball gets down the lane just a couple feet longer than it did on, his, on her last few shots on that lane. Leaves the ring 10. Fair conversion, no problem for Liz Johnson. Back to Shannon. So we just saw Verity right here really quick put two pieces of tape in her ball. You know, it's very possible that she didn't have a very good feel, and that's why she was actually being a little grabby on those shots and why they went high. So let's see how this turns out for her. Funny sign of the <laughs> Those are hilarious. And Verity's all business here trying to keep up with the legend Liz Johnson. The shot looked almost identical to the shot she made on the left lane. There's the projection she's looking for in that front part of the lane. Gets it down the lane to about that eight board at the uh, tracers. Reads the end of the pattern perfect. And like I said, her moves will probably be to the left and might even be those parallel moves. Or one of the things Verity does like to do too, is she may move her feet and not her eyes, just so that she keeps her projection to the right open. Late tribute, 10 pin. Keeping things close with Liz Johnson, a Hall of Famer. Diana's got that great sight. Good one, well done there. <laughs> Pin lead for the Hall of Famer. So Verity Crowley in her first ever TV show, only 22 years old, as the turkey. And it's right back in the match. Dave Ryan, Carolyn Gorman, Bella with you in the booth. Jen O'Keefe, our reporter for our broadcast. Six frame for Liz. 
usually, Carol, the point of the match that spells a lot of trouble for so many opponents. Yep, and, that, and, and I always reference this too, and if we replay that shot, oh good, I'm glad we are. Right here, coming out of commercial break, you wanna make sure you don't throw the ball slow, you wanna be aggressive, and again, if we can see it, it's right by that range finder right there. Every time she gets that ball to nine, it is high flush in the pocket. Mm. Verity, on the other hand, as we referenced, can get it to about seven, eight, because obviously higher rev rate, angle's a little bit different, but both are playing basically in the same area at the break point. Big numbers, this to expand the lead of 23 pins, yes. Right lane, left lane, same result, all 10 back for Liz Johnson. And two clutch strikes to put the pressure on the youngster. Paralegal, Monday through Friday. Working in immigration law. Very crawling. What a story. Here she is. Nice ball reaction. Down lane. All 10 down. This is not the first time we've seen Verity on CBS Sports Network. Her collegiate singles championships in 2015, representing Weber International. National champ. Going for that title. Team champ last year. So TV experience, but never on the PWBA tour. Until now. Big shot, big strike. Holds within three. Watch early round coverage of all PWBA events, plus live and on-demand coverage of the best professional bowling action on Extra Frame. Visit www.extraframe.tv for more information or to subscribe today. Kulik, our broadcast colleague, and of course, star on the PWBA tour, is the top seed. How many times has the legend been in this very spot? And how many times has she hit the 1-3 and hmm. carried? <laughs> Usually. A lot. <laughs> how about this time, Liz? We need 10 pin, good shot. Ball got down the lane just a little bit further, as you can see right here. That one was about to 7-8. Remember, she's been keeping it around that 9-10 area in which then the, the ball really reads the back end of that pattern. So that one just a little bit, probably a little bit firm. You know, there's really nothing, you know, sometimes you try to analyze everything, but sometimes it's just that little bit of, of firmness or, you know, a little bit aggressive. And it goes just a couple feet longer and boom, you flat 10. A, it's sparable. You fill a frame, but against Crowley, who seems to be really lined up, you want to catch a break. Every shot important now. We had a hurry, just didn't make the pocket. That's a really tough split. Two, four, ten. Disaster. This is very, very unlike Liz. As you can see, this is way out. That's the outside of the ball. That's way out to about seven, eight. She also looked like she actually threw that to the right. Remember, we talked about it without the rev rate. It doesn't really read the path. Went for the split, got one. On the bench, Verity Crowley sees herself up by 13 pins. What a turn of events here for the youngster. Steps up in the ninth frame. In great shape.
six in a row. Got it. Clutch. Great setup. Great setup shot for Verity. As a matter of fact, looks like she didn't get this one as far right, which means now she's created a little bit hold. We've seen Diana do that in the past. Same type of game, same type of rev off their hand. When you have a little bit of swing to the right and you get that little bit of hold to the left, it tends to loosen up your arm swing just a little bit. Just needs a mark in the 10th. How about a strike? And how about a win for Barry Crawley? The youngster from England is going to advance to take on Kelly Kulik, the top seed for the championship. Liz won the Sacramento Open, she told us. You just never know in the 10th frame. Late in the match, what could happen? But even Liz, a legend, probably didn't envision this sort of thing happening here. So Liz will be denied a second tour title of the season. <laughs> Hopes for a first career title in her first ever show. Very much alive for Verity Crawley. Knocks off the Hall of Famer. In our second match, Liz Johnson falters late. The door open for Crawley. She takes advantage with a lot of fan support. Crawley, Kulik for the title. Next. 241, 211, ninth frame. Liz Johnson, so uncharacteristic mistake. An open frame, and Verity Crawley. 22-year-old rookie from Great Britain has the win. Carol, look at some of the other finishers here as we break down the tournament stats. Great event in Southern California. Absolutely. Phenomenal, phenomenal proprietors, great fans, great bowling town. Clara Guerrero, always up at the top. Struggled the first week, but came right back. Bowled great the last few weeks. Daphne Tan, Shayna. We have our Singapore girls in there. Brigitte Poplar, great bowler from Germany coming over, bowled well. And Cassandra Luthold, who we want to send our best out to, came out and bowled a couple weeks, bowled great, undergoing some throat stretchings, but doing very well. 11 countries represented, 22 international players, so many there between spots 5 and 12. Proper grip pressure, extremely important in the sport of bowling. And McKendra University women's head coach, Jan O'Keefe, and our colleague, on CBS Sports Network explains in this week's Bowling Tip. My name is Shannon O'Keefe and I have a tip about grip pressure. So when talking about grip pressure, a lot of people are not sure about what this means. It really means when your hand is in the ball, how much are you squeezing it or how little pressure do you have? Do you have more or do you have less? The reason why checking in on your grip pressure is so important is there's a lot of inconsistencies that happen throughout your swing and at the point of release if that grip pressure changes. So one really important thing to do when you're practicing is to swing the ball once or twice and feel if there's a difference in grip pressure. If you find yourself squeezing it more throughout your swing instead of being loose, that's something you definitely want to practice. You can do one steps or even no steps at the foul line meaning you get in your finished position at the foul line and you hang the ball by your side and you simply just swing it and you see if that grip pressure changes. If it starts to increase, it's something you really want to work on. It may be a fit issue at that point or maybe simply just add a piece of tape or two. Once you can have a more consistent grip pressure throughout your swing, you should find that your releases are a little more consistent. So when Talking about grip pressure, a lot of people are not sure about what this means. Sometimes people spend too much time in practice working on push direction or finish position when it could simply be checking in on their grip pressure. So make sure to do that the next time that you practice. Great advice, Shannon. Thanks. And we'll hear more from Shannon on our broadcast in a few moments. Kelly Kulik, for now, is ready to take on Barry Crowley, number two against number one. At stake, a PWBA Tour Championship. The final is next.
It is time to bowl for a title on CBS Sports Network. Kelly Kulik, top seed, looks for her first tour title since the rebirth of the PWBA. Parody Crawley has never made a TV show professionally until now. And she just knocked off the legendary Hall of Famer Liz Johnson, 241-211. Now another legend awaits. See how the kid does this time. Pretty well, I'd say. Nice start. I guess the, the break didn't do anything to bother Verity. Again, those are key shots when you're coming out of a break, getting ready to start the match when you've been waiting. It's, it's key to come out, be aggressive, and get off to a good start, especially in a championship match. Kulik, not the start she wanted with a washout. Hmm. Hitting about 17 at the arrows, but she got this one way down lane. This is this is that area where we talked about once. Remember when Liz got it out there? What happened? Same thing. Want to keep it around that 9-10 area? As you can see, the girls who are rev dominant have a little hold and a little swing in that area. So all Kelly's got to do is just not get it. Really nice cover up shot to help her confidence for sure. Inverts the spare beautifully. First TV appearance of this season. Hits to the left of the head pin, slides it right into the 10. That's picture perfect right there, and using a spare ball. Kelly, our fellow broadcaster, but bowler for now, told us pre-match, I want to be great again. I want to love the game again. She's already one of the best to ever have played. A long title drought, it's a big theme. That is the target as well. Stuck a little bit, on, stuck a little bit on that. You could see she pulled it right up out of her shot. Got that one way right. Trying to get her footing. You know, Kelly, picturesque right here. Look how smooth that. I mean, she gets that ball right into her swing, so nice and easy. But right there, you see she lifted right up on her leg. She's way down at the line. Got a break and didn't split. It's another challenging spare. Not as hard as the first one, <laughs> but still, she's got a couple marks. Here comes the youngster, Verity Crowley. Verity told us pre-match she wasn't really nervous. Looking forward to this opportunity. I mean, talk about challenging matches. I Johnson, Kulik, back-to-back, -back, seriously? <laughs> I, I just laugh because it's unbelievable the confidence that these players exude at such a young age. And I know they've prepared for it. Wow, she got that ball right. And it results in a 7-10. Whoops. Can't say it was a terrible shot, but definitely got it way further. Let's say where this ball gets out to. Way out to that eight board. That's a bit just Bolt did not quite finish off the pattern the way it had been. It gets a bad break, 7-10. Takes the 10, open frame. <laughs> Business administration and sports business management major from Weber International. A tremendous program we told you about. Babson Park, Florida. I remember speaking to their team, oh, probably four years ago or so. Um, they were talking about confidence and spare shooting, just believing in themselves. And of course, I, I said at the end, you girls, the way you throw it, don't believe in yourself? Oh my God, you know? <laughs> she believes. Lane's breaking down, the transition, so adjustments are going to be necessary. Almost had another split. Little transition, also, she is bowling for her first title. 
you know, finally a PWBA member. So I would assume there's a, a, maybe a little bit of nerves in there, if I remember correctly. Gotta That's be, right? a just little gotta bit. Be. So she just needs to remember to breathe and take one shot at a time. There's a 10 pin. Let's go back to Shannon. Verity is going with the same game plan this this match. She's going to probably chase it a little bit left, especially now that we just saw her go high. But same game plan. Keep her hand nice and firm and just make great shots. Kelly is extremely confident coming into this show. So what she had said was she just wants to be me. And so we're just looking for Kelly to be Kelly again. That looks like the Kelly Kulik we know so well. Much better shot by Kelly, much more aggressive. Kelly takes five steps, actually moves the ball just a little bit on that first step, but look how nice she walks right by it, high back swing, but look at that left, look at this. And that right there is Kelly Kulik. Frame to go up by 19. Ten pin. You can see there she's rubbing her from the approach. A little bit of footing problems, but gets a break, gets the ten pin. Second time she's had a little sticky issue there. Approach with footwork and the foul. Line. Let's see what happened this time. See how her foot just comes to a dead stop instead of that little bit of slide. She usually has a little bit more slide, get her knee into it, and that her foot just dead stopped. Trying to iron out those footwork issues right now. That'll be critical on that left lane as the match progresses. And don't forget, we've seen the, the women have told us and the ball reps have told us that that left lane has gotten a little bit tighter They've had a little bit more hold on that lane, so if she remembers that, again, she was able to keep that ball on line with where, where she's trying to play, but it could play to her advantage. Trolley responds. Big strike in the fourth. Seemed a little bit more firm through this shot, just like Shannon had referenced her hand, much more firm on this shot. Did not get it as far right as that shot with the 7-10. And see the ball react off that pattern at the end. Excellent. Great shot. Tenth place finish at the PWBA Greater Detroit Open last year prior career best, no TV until now, on tour. Fifth frame for the lead. That's it. One of the things you really want to watch with these younger players, and I've referenced it already, is even though they're power players, when they get the ball into the swing and they get it to the top of their swing, there is no grab. It's drop and free off their hand. Their thumb is out of that ball, and that rotation is all from underneath and around. Perfect shot on the right lane. Break down Kelly's look here, Carol. Just staring it down, that's all Kelly does. But again, watch the stillness of that head. Her head never moves throughout the approach. That is absolutely awesome. So when we tell everybody, keep your eyes on your target or, or wherever, wherever you're targeting, whether it be the, the pins, the dots, the lanes, I don't care what it is, that head stays st still, your finish position is gonna be spot on. How about this lane? Look out, Brooklyn strike crossing over. I'll take the break. She will take a break. And back ahead of the match, Kelly Kulik strikes in the fifth and sixth frame. The exciting conclusion. The championship match is next. Kulik, a 
double in the fifth and sixth. Crawley in the fourth and fifth. Kelly still trying to iron out that footwork now, but she has a nine pin lead. Shannon joined by Liz Johnson. Liz, you had an incredible look throughout that first game and a half. Then it appeared that some transition happened. Do you think that that played a role into what happened at the end of that match? Yeah, I think it did a little bit. Um, had transition, maybe I could have made a little move, but uh, playing simple, I think I got a little tired. You know, it's been a long day, a great day, um, but I, my legs didn't work very well and, and got, uh, you know, kept popping up a little bit, and that's where I really needed to get my angles going the right way, and it just, you know, that, that ninth frame, it just, it just came off too fast. So, um, you know, I'm happy the way I bowled. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better day and uh, going, going home, so. Thanks, Liz. Dave? Chad, thanks so much. Liz knocked off Sherry 10, 275, 258 in the first game, but then lost 241, 211 to this young bowler from Great Britain, Barry Crawley. Her first ever TV appearance, only 22 years old. Looks for the turkey here. Gain the lead in a back and forth match. At stake, a tour title. Notice how they take a deep breath. She, I'm saying they, her and Diana do the same thing. Take a deep breath right before they're ready to, to get into their shot. So important to breathe. Calms down your heart rate. And look at, I mean, just great shots out of the commercial break. That is so impressive. You know how hard that is. <laughs> You've done it's, it a lot. It's, it's, a lot you know what? Right it now. is hard because even though you tell yourself, you know what, make sure you're aggressive, well, sometimes it just doesn't happen. You know, you got to really slow your heart rate down, get your mindset right, and just let it go. Look at those max scores. Crowley would win by one stick. For the four bagger, chance to go up 11. Yes. Stays high. Pressure back on Kelly. And she's smiling because she knows a little bit of what I say, a little bit of right, a little bit of left. As long as she keeps that wrist firm and just gets it, just fly around and float it to the right, not throw it, just float it off her hand to the right. She's got a great look. She's happy and smiling right now. Kelly is focused in seventh frame. Finds the range, one three pocket, all 10 back for Kelly oh, Kulik. The ball within one pin. Great shot Come by on, Kelly. Again, waiting out of the break. She makes sure she's aggressive. But see how she digs with that leg. Firm at the end. Kicks the 10 out. Come on, Kelly. You got to get this lane. Got to get this lane. Can she get the left lane? Come on. Yeah. Yes, she can. Come on. All 10 back, regains the lead in our thrilling back and forth championship match. Much and more confident shot, crawl. much more confident shot. Look at this, playing that lane a little bit deeper than the right lane, but getting out. Remember, we've been talking about that tracer down lane, hit about 10, perfect. It's all about angles on this pattern. If you throw it too far right, it just doesn't recover. It's more about floating that ball to the spot. Verity tries to respond. It's for the five bagger. Ten down. Answers. into the foundation frame. Probably to go up by 11 pins. Kelly's worked so hard with her mental coach, Brian Helen, focusing, getting ready for her next shots. Crawley comes in high. Six, nine, ten. We've been talking about where that break point needs to be. 
we've already got that one way to the right, down the lane. About out to, right here, way right of, boy, that could be out to about seven. And just pumps off that pattern. Not only that, once again, she's at the point where it's getting towards the end of the game. I'm sh again, we talked about the nerves. Maybe grab that one just a little bit more. Tough spare. Got a cover, does so. Nicely done by Verdi Crawley. Great spare. I'm sure she's nervous. She just wouldn't know it. Nothing with the facial expression that she turns back to her friends. Yeah, <laughs> she's it's just okay. We're just, it's all right. It's no big deal. Yeah, it's just it. <laughs> <laughs> PWVA to her title. That's all against the legends. Already beat one. What's two? So Kulik up three. Eighth frame. Five straight. Huge shot. Seven pin. Not a bad shot, just got a little right, as you can see. She's been hitting about 9, 10. Those have been her good shots. Just a little bit further right, and both girls, when they got it a little bit further right, out to that 8, it just slightly came back off the pattern, not really strong. I'll, I'll tell you, the, like we've talked about, too, very touch sensitive. So in other words, that really wasn't that bad of a shot. I mean, you know, maybe one or two boards to the right, but a little more aggressive. It goes just that foot or two longer, leaves the blower seven. Two strikes and nine. Such an emotional year for Kelly Kewitt. Push. It's high. That one right, got that one left. So I don't need to tell you what she did. She just told you. Fair. Covers. Come on, catch it, Kelly. Go to the right and catch it. Kelly Crowley can step up in the tent and win. Still got to get it right. Kelly wants it. Kelly gets it. Big strike for 224. Big shot. One of the best shots of the game. She caught it. She's telling you what she did. I got that one right. I got that one left. But you know what? She got the one that she needed to force Verity for two strikes. That's what she needs. Anything less? Kelly wins. The first one. No. And Kelly Kulik on the bench has won. First time in the new PWBA tour. After such a long wait, losing her mom in December, the emotion, the energy and strength that's gone into this moment for Kelly Q, a champion again. Caught some good breaks. Our Smithfield moment of the match, Carolyn. Bird needs this strike and doesn't quite get it. What happened? Let's see the replay on this shot. Doesn't quite get it as far right as you can see. Once she hit that 10-11 down lane, just too much off the back end. 
again, I, I chalk that up to, I mean, she, she was, I mean, the game was a really good game. So once again, here you go. She gets that one way right, comes in a little light, but a little bit of the anxiety, but she pulled a great game. We'll see really her again great. in the championship great match. Bone. Great bone. I miss you. Thank you. Thank you. Kelly Kulik. Caught some really good breaks tonight. Thank you. Dedicates that to her mom. I got to hug some good guys. Gentlemen. Top C. Wins for the first time since the rebirth of the PWBA Tour. We'll hear from Kelly, a champion again, next. <laughs> PWBA Fountain Valley Open champion. What a moment for Kelly Kulik. Lane level on now with Shannon. I'm here with Gary Foreman, the proprietor from Fountain Valley. Bold present the trophy to Kelly Kulik. Congratulations. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> Kelly, this is your first title since the rebirth of the PWBA Tour and the first since you've lost your mom. How much was she on your mind today? Um, she's been on my mind so much. I mean, not only was she my mother, she was my biggest supporter, but she was my best friend. And I lost two people the day she left us. Um, I can't go back. I caught some good breaks. Verity Carly is an amazing bowler, and I know she's going to make more shows and be a champion out here on tour. And I, I just caught some good breaks. I finally didn't split when my ball went through the face, which was, which is very nice. And I caught the Brooklyn, obviously, to make the the four bagger. So um, I, they were just due for me. Maybe mom was looking down on me, but, you know, I hope she's up there dancing with Elvis and finally celebrating, probably smoking a cigarette. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I, I just really I want to thank you, thank you to Storm and all my sponsors, but especially PWBA, BPAA, USBC. Without you guys, I could go for a big slice of Smithfield ham right now. Uh, <laughs> Nationwide Pepsi Go Bowling, it, just so many wonderful people. I have to say I have such a, a strong bond of friends back home and support group for what I've been going through. And because I have good friends and I surround myself with great people, I've, I've been able to endure this, and I'm so happy I get to go to Richmond this year. Well, congratulations, Kelly. Thank you. Shannon, thanks. Kelly, congratulations. Mom Carol, be so proud. We can say it again, Kelly Kulik, a champion on the PWBA Tour.